Hey, Lonnie, how's the booze tasting today? Hey, Brian, pretty good. I had a little sip. Oh, yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're rolling already. So what Cheers, if, baby. What do you want to talk about, baby? <laughs> I want to talk about a flea in her ear. Oh. Playing at Little Lake Theater you right know, now. I know an excellent dog groomer who has a great spray for that. For that. Yeah. You know what that means. You know, like somebody puts a bug in your ear. You know, I've heard that expression. Gives you an idea. A bug That's, in your ear, but I've never heard it specified to the... Uh, what nomenclature of a, of, the, of a flea? I think uh, because it was kind of erroneous information, so it wasn't oh. even getting a bug. Now look, in your we ear. got all the gossip girls on the cover. You know it, Psst, Margie. Did you hear? Well, here's what goes on in this: a woman, Laura Chandler, played by I love this name, Rain Rivera. Isn't that a beautiful name for a woman? Yes, someone was thinking when they put that together. Yes, and she's also a wonderful actress. She was one of the strong performances in this show. Good, you've got talent to back up a name. Yes, right. And she gets a flea in her ear from her friend that her husband is cheating on her. Oh, God. So they. I thought this was a comedy. That's terrible. Of course, it's a farce. (laughs) They make a big plan to lure the husband under false pretenses to the Pussycat Motel so that they can catch him in the act. And it just, uh, it kind of goes downhill for all of the characters from that point oh. on. Uh, this, this is a farce with everything you would expect from a farce. Mm. You know, people in and out, several different directions, mistaken identity, misunderstandings, um, it seems like every farce, did you ever notice this, always has a character that speaks English with a foreign accent. Did I think ever? that's one of the things. That's did one you, of the, like, yeah. You see that in a farce. Well, this was John. Peter Sellers made a career. Of that. Of, yeah. That's right. Uh, but, yeah, no, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Johnny Traficanti played the role of, I have to read this, Homenides de Histangua. Oh, and he was very funny. He was one of the more comical characters in this. And uh, he, he played his fiery, uh, temperamental character very, very well. He was funny. And uh, Colin Burns was a, another actor that I wanted to mention. He played his role with a speech impediment. Oh, geez. And he couldn't, I can't remember if he couldn't say vowels or he couldn't say consonants. So it was really a mishmash that came out of his mouth. You could sort of maybe understand, but I don't think you were really supposed to because it was so funny that That's you couldn't. To do, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Andy Coleman had a couple funny moments in the show too, and Eric Leslie's the one I really wanted to really mention. Um, he plays the man Victor Chandler that was supposed to have been cheating, and it just so turns out that at this pussycat motel. He has a doppelganger who's the porter, a drunken porter. So he switches back from oh, the suspected it's a, it's cheating husband to the, A dual role. And, yeah. Yes, and everybody, and he was so good in it and so funny in it. He really, I would say he was the star of this show. It was a huge cast, huge. And there were... Yeah, these old farces usually are, back yeah. when they could pay 15 actors to be in a show. Exactly. Nowadays, you see new plays, you have one, two, three people, that's it. I know, yeah. and it was three acts, yeah. which is really unusual now, too. But yeah. um, he's, he really definitely stole the show. And when there's so many actors like that, um, of course, some of the performances are going to be a lot stronger than some mm-hmm. of the others. But uh, this farce... It has a tone of kind of innocence, but kind of naughty and kind of dirty well, at the yeah, same the time. Well, yeah, the Pussycat Motel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but it was done <laughs> That's a, in a funny, naughty way, you know, just like, ooh kind of naughty, naughty. I don't imagine the Pussycat Hotel got like a five-star rating on TripAdvisor. I don't think so either. Not judging by their uh, employees, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> But uh, there were a couple funny lines, too, that really cracked me up. One of them was one of the characters thought that the play, Hello, Dolly, was too (laughs) (laughs) avant-garde. Hello, Dolly. (laughs) Consider that. I know. know, Maybe out in Cannonsburg. (laughs) uh, That's hilarious. Yeah, there there were, I'd say, a, a few parts that were really, really funny. And then um, some of it, 
I guess it was taking a lot of time to build up to the funny parts sometimes. It, Ah, uh, yeah. It wasn't a laugh a minute, but when you laughed, you laughed. Because a farce isn't, you know, full throttle from the get-go. you got to lay out all the pieces, and then when things start, you know, falling exactly. apart, that's when the, you, know, you start laughing. Exactly. But, but, all right, so a farce among farces, yes. It runs at Little Lake through, I'm looking for the date, the 26th of May. All right, so a just flea in her ear. ear. Bzzz. There you go. All right.